flexing his left leg as the Yankees come out to take a look. Another injury for the Yankees who keep churning out high quality results like, well, like Steve Bunin. More on the Bronx Bombers in a bit, but let me just say without a doubt, there is no other sports center anchor who is more experienced with sports injuries than Steve. And it has nothing to do with the fact that his wife Viviana is a doctor. Few of us can truly empathize with the athletes and their pain quite like the man to my left. And we my have highlight here today. proof, unbelievable. My esteemed colleague is playing with pain today, as a matter of fact. He has a broken right elbow, which yes. was just confirmed this morning. <laughs> he has had eight fractures or dislocations since May 2006. I look like a clutch. I'm actually <laughs> quite capable. Athletic. I just keep having these random injuries. Yeah, and you're probably wondering why we selected this month and year. Well, our graphics department said they actually have work to do with real athletes that actually have multi-million dollar yes, implications. Yes, and they ran out of team. space on the, yes, on the screen. So I'm reason. either the toughest or weakest. And that's not including Matt Millen lived. giving you a broken Yeah, he nearly dislocated my shoulder again. All right, so I would fit in great with the Yankees, that's for sure, that's whose injury-plagued roster added another walking wounded last night, Mark Teixeira, who says he might miss two weeks with a strained calf. I never miss any time with all these injuries. That's true. ESPNNewYork.com's Andrew Marchand has more. Ouch. From the Bronx. This is a major loss for the Yankees because if you look at the schedule, they play the Blue Jays the next two days, and then it's the two teams that are chasing. What is he doing on the field? It's just unbelievable. Instincts, quickness, vision. I had accomplished uh, many wonderful things in my 10 years, and, and uh, that's more so what I focus on. It's a pinch me kind of week here for a lot of these sports uh, sportscasters here at ESPN. Joe Montana was here yesterday. And Barry Sanders is here today as part of ESPN's Madden Legends Week, powered by EA Sports Arena. Brand new game came out last night, and, and people say you had video game moves. How would you describe your running style? I would say that, um, you know, I was sort of a, a speed back, um, you know, with, with uh, you know, sort of um, pretty good power, um, a decent combination of power and speed and, and um, kind of elusive. Um, you know, those are probably some of the terms I would use. Where did that running style come from? I think it, it came from just always being like the smallest guy on the field. Um, and it came from watching other great running backs play. Um, you know, I watched all the greats play as a kid uh, in the NFL and in college. Tony Dorsett, um, Walter Payton, um, Billy Sims, you know, the list goes on. And, and so uh, I think it's probably a combination of those things. Of all those guys, the reason, at least for me, that I loved watching you play was another one of my favorite NFL players, Steve Largent. Every time both of you guys ever scored a touchdown and you scored about 200 combined, you just handed the ball to the referee. Why did you do that? Uh, well, well, for me, um, you know, my, my work was done, you know, and I didn't, I felt like, you know, um, that's what I'm, I'm there to do, score, score a touchdown, um, and, um, and it's, it's done after that. There's no more to do, you know, so, so uh, that's kind of the approach that I took. Where did that humility come from? I think it came from my family. Um, I think, um, and I think it's probably more so even the time that I grew up in um, and, and um, you know, just play the game, um, very simple. Do what you have to do and, and uh, let your actions and, and uh, your play speak for itself. Who would you say has been the most influential person in your life? I would, you know, I would have to say between my mom and dad, um, it's a toss-up. Uh, my dad was a huge sports fan. My mom didn't know much about sports. Um, Sports-wise, you know, my, my, you know I, I definitely got my passion for the game from, from my dad. What, what do you think your life would have been like if he wasn't that passionate about sports? You know, I, I don't know because... Um, you know, from a very early age, um, you know, I, I assumed that passion from him for sports and that competitiveness. Um, and, uh, and so, I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know um, what impact that would have had. You know, I think I probably, probably would have still played, um, you know, but it certainly would have had some impact. Every parent thinks their kid is special. When did you realize you had something special as a football player? I think it wasn't until I was well into college that uh, I, I figured I would have, have an a, um, opportunity to play after college. Um, and, um, you know, I wasn't heavily recruited out of high school. Um, and uh, it wasn't until much later in my high school career that I got a scholarship, um, played different sports, um, you know, and that kind of thing. And so it, it, was, it was pretty late for me where I realized that I'd have a chance to play in the NFL. And what was the turning point when you got to Oklahoma State? What changed? I think for me um, what changed is you watch 
several guys um, get drafted. Um, you watch a couple guys that um, were decent players, um, you know, to go on and have NFL careers and, and things like that. Um, and so I think that's probably when the reality set in that, that I would have an opportunity. In all the that you did accomplish, college, NFL, what do you consider your career highlight? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I was fortunate to have a lot of great highlights. Um, and um, I think winning the Heisman was certainly the, the, the year that my life changed. Um, that and also uh, rushing for 2,000 yards in my ninth season, you know, kind of put me, um, officially put me in an elite group of running backs. What was the hardest point of your football career? Um, the hardest point probably was, um, was just, you know, being able to um, deal with a lot of things off the field, the, the demands of, on your time and, um, and things like that away from the field as a young player. Um, you know, um, you know there, there are a lot of requests, uh, a lot of demands, um, um, and things like that. A lot of things asked of you, um, and so dealing dealing with those things off the field probably was, was the biggest challenge. Well, now you have four sons, and I asked Joe Montana this yesterday. He also has four kids. In this game, you can play as Barry Sanders against current teams. You could also play as current teams against Barry Sanders. What do you think your kids would be more likely to do? Play as dad or try to beat dad? <laughs> <laughs> I think that they would probably try to play as dad. Yeah. I, I like to think that, you know. <laughs> but Joe but, said the opposite. He said his sons would try to beat him as, as video Joe Montana. Right. I, 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 yeah, I, I think they'd try to play as dad because, they, you know, they, they obviously didn't, didn't have a chance to see me play. Yeah. The younger ones didn't. Um, and so that, that's, that's what would be my guess anyways. Well, it would be an honor for any of us to be able to uh, play and emulate the running style and accomplishments that you had. The game is now available. Barry Sanders, an honor to have you here on SportsCenter. My pleasure.